If you've watched our video blogs before, you recognize that I'm at my home office in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm actually getting ready to board a plane in a little bit to go to Vancouver, British Columbia, where we have a seminar and many personal one-on-one -on -one encounter sessions. By the way, over my shoulder is a painting that a friend of this ministry did. It's the Cross of Deliverance. You've seen me use it in our YouTube exorcisms. And I encourage you to get your own. Go to our website. This anointed, consecrated cross is feared by the powers of darkness, and it will be a, a great instrument of God in your hands to fight back against the devil. If you've been watching the news lately about the explosion of the volcano Kilauea in Hawaii, uh, lava flowing and destroying everything in its path, eruptions, huge plumes, thousands and thousands of feet into the air, magma bombs exploding 100 feet in the air. It destroys everything in its path. I've seen pictures, as you probably have, of homes being engulfed, cars being engulfed, and they don't know what to do about it. There's just no solution to stop it. But some people in Hawaii are looking to the ancient ways for a solution. You see, they believe that the eruptions are the result of the anger of the goddess Pele, who lives in the volcano. Now, in the old days, they would propitiate Pele with a human sacrifice of a virgin, but of course, that would be murder now, so they can't do that. So, some of the residents of that island are, wherever they find cracks from the lava flow, are placing flowers and vodka, booze, to appease Pele. One of them said, we're at the mercy of Pele. And she has the right of way, and she can do what she wants to do, and we respect Pele. Well, the real story of Pele is that, according to legend, she was a very jealous goddess. She actually killed her sister. Her brother, the shark, made a canoe for her to escape. Then she takes up with a native chieftain and has sex with him, and ends up killing another sister and the chieftain. I don't know, but that sounds a lot like Jezebel to me. Pele is just another form of Jezebel. You can read in my book, Jezebel, all the different forms throughout history, all the different goddesses that are essentially Jezebel in character, but not necessarily in name, because Jezebel adapts to particular civilizations. But I want to say this to the people who think that you can put out vodka and stop what this volcano is doing. You can't fight fire with fire water. And if you put out an idolatrous offering for Pele, look, this thing is geologic, not demonic. But with that act of worship to Pele, you could easily get possessed with the spirit of Jezebel. And if you do, I'm ready to Skype you all the way from Hawaii to get rid of your demons in the name of Jesus.